The Ranger Mine Resistant Ambush Protected Vehicle was developed by Universal Engineering of UK. This armored vehicle was developed as a private venture. Development started in 2008. It took only one year to develop the vehicle and complete the first prototype. The first prototype with 6x6 configuration was revealed in 2009. The Ranger has been designed as a family of vehicles with 4x4, 6x6 and 8x8 configurations. The main role of the Ranger is to carry soldiers under armor and protect them from landmines and roadside bombs. However this vehicle has unusual armor design compared to other mine protected vehicles. The emphasis was also stressed on speed and mobility. As a result the Ranger has a very high level of ballistic and mine protection. Also it is fast and has good cross-country mobility. The Ranger has an unusual armor design. The whole vehicle is built around a highly protected capsule with a V-shaped hull. This capsule was developed by Raphael. It is made of hardened armored steel. It has an armored belly plate with a floating floor. Interior is lined with small liners. Base armor provides all-round ballistic protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing projectiles. Hull sides can be fitted with add-on armor kit for even higher level of protection. The add-on armor package includes passive ceramic armor and explosive reactive armor. With add-on armor protection can be tailored to suit mission requirements. All side windows are fitted with bar armor. It is claimed that armor of the Ranger provides protection against RPG-7 rockets. Vehicle with stand mine blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT anywhere under the hull. The Ranger with 6x6 configuration is operated by a crew of two, including commander and driver. It accommodates eight fully equipped soldiers. Troops egress and dismount via a rear power operated ramp. Also there are roof hatches for firing and emergency exit. Vehicle has a payload capacity of 6 plus 000 kg. This MRAP vehicle can be fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station. It can be armed with 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun, 40mm automatic grenade launcher and even 30mm cannon. Or anti-tank missile launcher. Also this vehicle can be fitted with a one-man turret. So the armament depends on customer requirements. The first prototype of the Ranger was powered by a manned diesel engine, developing 540 horsepower. This engine is commercially available. It was mated to a ZF-12 speed automatic transmission. Acceleration from 0 to 50 km per hour takes only 7 seconds. Also there is an auxiliary power unit, which powers all electrical systems when the main engine is turned off. This vehicle has adjustable suspension. On hard surface roads the ride height is 330 mm. Off-road it is increased to 505 mm. First and last pair of wheels are steerable in order to reduce the turning radius. The Ranger has a central tire inflation system with run-flat tires. A self-recovery winch is fitted as standard. It can be also used to recover other vehicles. This mine-protected vehicle can be airlifted by C-130J Super Hercules, C-17 Globemaster III or A-400M Atlas military transport aircraft. The Ranger has been designed as a modular vehicle. It utilizes common modules, such as power pack, axles, survivability modules and so on. These basic modules are standard across the range of vehicles with different configurations. If the vehicle runs over a mine, the damaged module can be quickly removed and replaced by a new one. Also the baseline Ranger troop carrier can rapidly change its role. 